Hello! Happy Wednesday. Good evening, everybody. Café y fogatas y probablemente sin luz por un día también. That is, that is how it is right now. How are you guys doing? Hello, Keiku. Hello, Tansen. And uh, Keiku, yes, that is, that is true. The electrical infrastructure right now sucks bad. At work, taking a break? Nice. Not bad at all. How has work been for you? And Tansen, are you still without electricity or how are you doing? It's been meh. I got you, I got you. I understand the meh. I understand the meh. It is a complicated emotion. But I can relate. I can relate. Um, and yeah, yeah. Electricity has been a problem lately where we live. Um, today, I actually spend most of the day without any power. It came back about two hours ago, I think. So, you know. I, I decided I was definitely going to stream since I had my power back. But it has not been easy. Let's go ahead and jump into some more... Twilight Princess. Also, did you guys notice that Twitch now lets us make our own custom tags for our streams? That's pretty cool. I, For the first time today, I added the skeleton tag and uh, I added the cozy and chill tag too. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know the, the, the tags you can add to your channel? So people can find you and stuff um switch now allows you to make up your own tag so i put skeleton as a tag and yeah the only reason i have power it's because of the solar panels nice lucky lucky i'm glad you have those it's it's sad that solar panels are almost essential where we live i mean it's good that a lot of people have them but it's not good for the reason that they do uh oh i haven't done it done yet i'll put cakes and stuff yeah 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 you can do it on obs pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff indeed i'm i'm down whenever twitch does stuff like that very cool very cool updates go ahead and boot up the old game box Hey, 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 Noivy, Noivy in the house. How are you doing? How is your Wednesday going? Thank you for blessing us with those emotes, my good sir. Oh, I just, <laughs> I muted the desktop audio thinking it was the mic. God damn it. Yo, Keiku, thank you for the, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the resub, my dude. 10 months. Thank you so much. Starting right, let's go. Yo, thank you. Without interrupt, but good. How about you guys? Damn. Very good. Very good indeed. Chucky, welcome in. Without internet, Noivy. Damn. Sorry you're going through that. Is, uh... Is your service provider just being a butt at the moment? Also, Chucky, how you doing? Welcome in. Twilight, nice indeed. Yeah, we're playing some Twilight. I love me some Twilight. Oh, that's why you didn't stream today. Damn, got you. Well, I hope you get your internet back soon. That really sucks. I've been... Today it's been like that for me, but with the electricity. I, I spent a good portion of the day without any power. 
I did have internet all night. I was about to lose... Oh, you didn't have internet all night. Damn. That sucks. It seems like everyone's going through the, uh... The technology struggles lately. We either don't have power or, or internet. That sucks. The power went off and it came... When it came, it appears that Clado is still working on it, maybe? Damn, alright. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I hope you get your internet back soon. That really sucks. That really does suck. You live and breathe the internet? All of us do, I'm pretty sure. Who watches TV nowadays? Let's be honest. I mean, like, cable TV. Mr. Link, wait. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Telma. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Dude, there's no, there's no outrunning this guy. He's awesome, though. I'm not complaining, really. Let's go ahead and read the letter. I'm pretty sure it's just telling us that we need to go there. Yeah, see? They came so quickly. Link, there are some folks I want you to meet. So come to my bar right away. These guys will be powerful allies for you. You heard me. Come by. I'll be waiting at my castle town bar, Talma. Alright. You heard the good lady. Um, we can probably just warp over there, can we? I know it's more scenic to ride the horse, to ride Epona, but... Let's warp. So, uh, Chucky, are you a fan of Twilight Princess, I take it? Keiku and I used to play this game way too much back in the day. Way too much. Yeah, nice. Nice. I love the game, too. It's gotta be one of my favorite Zeldas. It's been years since I last played it, so I'm... Um, I haven't felt lost yet. But, um, it does take quite a bit to remember what I have to do sometimes. I took the day to clean my setup. Nice. Well, that's, that's a really good idea. That's, that's really good. Keeping productive. I like it. So apparently TwitchBot is banning people from saying F it. So, don't do that. So, Twitch bot is banning chatters for saying that? Is that right? And the thing is, I also play it at GameCube. Nice, yeah, yeah. Uh, the GameCube is where I originally played it. So, this is still... This uh, copy is my original still. Um, I played the, the Wii version and I liked it. Oh, streamers, not chatters. Damn, thank you for letting me know, Tansen. Damn, what the hell? What the hell? Is that a thing? I need to Google that after I stop streaming today. A bot is banning streamers for saying that. Cat hair everywhere? Oh, I bet. I bet. I have been really lazy about cleaning my setup. My screens are all clean. Everything's clean, really, except my keyboard. I really gotta get into that. I'm sure I'm gonna find quite a few animal hairs in there. Uh, what to order? What to order? I do believe I will start with meat. Yes, meat. Alright. That was a weird dialogue setting, but alright. Oh my, if it isn't Link. You made it. 
How have you been, honey? Mercy. But you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey, hey everyone. Introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Link. You remember what I told you before, honey? These are those friends I mentioned. The ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there is one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the western desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Auru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk with him, okay? Well, you've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're jolly bunch. Being sociable? I don't know. Hey, I know who you are. i played this game before. It's Ashe. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the regiment. So forgive me if I come off as rude, okay? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. No peak. The mountain to the north of Hyrule is... It's unlikely any mountain... Oh, it's unlike any mountain I've ever seen. Ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? Hey. Oh, hello there. You must be Link, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Thelma told me all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well... I'm formidable at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Alright, so now we're supposed to talk to him, right? It's been a long time. Link. My wife, Uli. Or Yuli. I'm gonna say Yuli, it sounds less weird. Send word to me. I've seen the children in Kakariko Village. And of course I have also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with Colin, Link. I barely recognize him. In any case, I am troubled... I am troubled by my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here, I have had a connection with. I have had a connection with them a long while. Like the others, I am gathering information now. I will let you know if I hear anything. Okay. Hi. That old codger, Aru, is a Lake Hylia, studying the desert. Alright, I'm pretty sure we just have to go there. Let's head on to Lake Hylia then. Let's talk to Telma one last time. How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that Shaman will find will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about. So you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? Listen, honey, if you're puzzled about what you ought to be doing, why not go see my friend Aru? There's a man who knows things. Alright. I kind of remember what we gotta do. I'm pretty sure uh, the next area we gotta tackle is Arbiter's Grounds, the temple in the desert. So let's head over. I'm, I'm pretty surprised we've gone through this game so quickly. 
I feel like my first playthrough back in the day, Arbiter's Ground felt like a uh, close to endgame thing. And uh, we haven't been playing too much. This is my eighth Zelda stream, but we've only been streaming it for two hours at a time. I feel like I'm still... I still haven't put in the hours. All right, let's go ahead and warp over there. I wonder if I'm making a mistake by warping places. Let me check the map real quick. I think we should be able to see where the wolf is waiting for us. So yeah, he's actually... Oh, but I can't get to him right now, right? Yeah, it seems like this area is in darkness once again, so I don't think I can go there anyway. Interesting. Alright. Let's go to Lake Hylia then. Oh, never mind. Huh. I don't remember if in the Wii version when you warp, you become a human again, but that would have been a cool feature. Because whenever I warp places, I need to manually turn into a human again. By the way, guys, feel free to let me know if the game audio is coming through fine. I'm not sure if it's too low or not. I think it's fine. Alright, let's talk to Aru. It's good? Nice, thank you. I want to make sure the, the music, all of the audio comes through fine. By the way, Noivy, how are you finding Dark Souls 3? I think last time I saw you play, you were fighting um, the Demon Princes. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? You do know Toma, don't you? I'm Aru. I'm part of the group that Toma kindly allows you to meet at the her bar. I've heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Link? The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. I think my fave so far, it's better build. Nice, nice. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad you think that. Uh, Dark Souls 3 is, is indeed a good game. I think it's an improvement on Dark Souls 1. Um, of course, it does have it does have armor sets and lore related to Dark Souls 2. But I think for Dark Souls 3, they, 
they focus more on uh, the traditional Dark Souls mechanics and forgot, you know, not forgot, but uh, intentionally did not include stuff from Dark Souls 2. I mean, they did include armor sets, like I said, and lore stuff, but not, not anything like adaptability, fortunately. Um, the criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that kept in the prison. I remember this is a guy with a red cape, very mad guy, and a dragon that falls off a bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know who they are. The guy in the red cape is Gale, and the dragon is probably Madir. <laughs> God, Madir, that's a tough one. Gale is really hard the first time, I feel like, but once once you get used to him, it, he's pretty easy. He's challenging, but not, not crazy difficult. Now, Madir is one that I haven't, damn. Madir's a challenge, but you can do it. Now, the prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. I'm at 450 deaths or so, that's not bad. That's really not bad for the point you're at. This desert at World's End, it still holds a cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. Almost on the Dark Souls 2 stream. What was uh, Dark Souls 2? 500? After Link. Master Link, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. As a matter of fact, yes I do. Ah, uh, is that so? Then let good old Aru help you out. You see, Lake Hylia below us, a man named Fire, runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. See, long ago, I saved this man Fire's life. And now, he cannot refuse me, if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to fire, all should go well. Also, for a moment, let's just admire this guy's drip. He's got some good drip. For real, I'm not kidding. I like, I like this uh, character's design. His clothing is pretty cool. He's got a hoodie, he's got that salmon color with uh, the, uh, I don't know what to call it, the khaki looking jumpsuit. I, I don't know if this is khaki, it's kind of greenish though. Good freaking outfit. Alright, let's go over to the amusement ride. We can probably swim faster if we go the Zora tunic. He has the styles indeed, yeah. I like the color palette. Nintendo has pretty good... A pretty good uh, eye for character design. They're good quality. They were then, and they, they still are now. Alright, let's show fire the memo. From old Aru, huh? Ah, well. I guess I ought to do what the old coot says. Oasis flight, right? So here you go. One of our secret options. Not available to the general public. This time's all paid for. So what do you say? You want to go? Alrighty then. But remember, next time you gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis. Fire in the hole. Alright, let's go. 
I'm I'm gonna keep saying this, it seems like, for the rest of the playthrough. But replaying this feels very odd. It feels like I shouldn't be at this point yet. I feel like the game is going by really fast. Because on my first playthrough, like I said earlier, um, the desert area, Arbiter's Grounds and everything, it, it really felt like not endgame, but close to endgame, which is weird. After this, we have the mountain, we got the uh, city in the sky, and I guess endgame, because after that, it's Twilight and uh, Hyrule Castle. Wait, Link? Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the few shadow? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely, the antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. Have you played the Hyrule Warriors games? No, I have not. I wanted to try them, but no, no, I haven't had a chance. Do you like those? They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, flitting in the half-light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. Oh, you haven't either? Gotcha. It seems like good games. I mean... When, I, when they first came out, I was kind of uh, uninterested because I'm not, not big on Dynasty Warriors style games. But um, I've played a couple since then and I, I enjoy them pretty good. They're not bad. And uh, Hyrule Warriors has a pretty decent following, so it can't be that bad. This is the, this is the history of Twilight as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you understand what I mean? What I am? I'm a descendant of the tribe that was banished by the... banished to the Twilight Room. I can't read tonight. I feel like this game has made me a little better to uh, read out loud because I'm really bad at it usually. It was a peaceful place until Xant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twilight into Shadow Beasts. It's clear to me now that somehow he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and couldn't no longer get into the toilet room without his power. But there is another tale told by my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? Another thing I'm going to keep saying throughout this whole playthrough is uh, the character development and uh, the cutscenes, the story is really good. A 
there are quite a few flaws that I find in this game, but the story makes up for it in a lot of ways. The dungeons so far, though, are sort of lackluster. So far, though. I have enjoyed them, but not as much as I did back in the day. But let's see if that changes. The later half of the game, if I remember correctly, is a bit, a bit better. Dungeons are bigger, a little bit more epic and stuff. But we'll see. Also, let's go ahead and switch to the claw shot. By the way, Noivy, did you notice that uh, Twitch now allows you to add custom tags? Have you Have you used that yet? Oh, can I jump this? Seems like a pretty big gap. I'm gonna try and go around it if I can. Yeah, yeah, like any word. I mean, if you do something bad, you might get in trouble. But yeah, any word, any word. I finally am able to, to add the skeleton tag, which I'm really happy about. Oh, I can't do this yet. This is with the, uh, the rod. Yeah, but you can add anything. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a fun thing. I like it. I'm worried. I'm a little worried that people will be less likely to find you considering there are custom tags rather than uh preset tags that everyone automatically uses, you know? Um but at the same time, no one's I don't think anyone or most people they don't browse by tags. I could be wrong, but that's that's my take on it. I don't think it really matters that much. Um I should have turned into a wolf actually. Yeah, it's good and bad. It's good and bad, but I don't think it really matters that much. I'm happy that I can add skeleton. It's cool that we can do our own things, you know? But uh, for discoverability, I don't think it's a it's a difference at all. Yeah, definitely. It's nice to have the choice. Yeah. What is this thing? I know what it is. Uh, Death Mountain, Kakariko Village... It's the Bridge of Elden. Why can't I teleport there? It's this thing. It's this bridge over here. Weird. I guess I haven't activated the warp there yet. We can't do it yet. Ooh, we got a postal. All right, one less pose hole we gotta get. I should have turned into a wolf this whole time. The wolf is much faster than human link.
All right, battle begins. See if I can aim with the GameCube controller. Oh, they they bumped into the wall, didn't they? Yeah, they slammed into the wall. That's just great. Didn't have to do anything there. to grab that heart. Interesting crunchy sound effect for walking on sand. I don't think sand has ever sound crunchy to me. Um, oh yeah, I think we have to maybe break this with one of the boars. Yeah, that might be what we have to do. I shouldn't have pressed A yet. This thing goes wild if you press A. Oh god damn it. always use some rupees i feel like the real fun i mean that's not true either but it's it's gonna be fun to once i finish the main quest or get close to finishing it and uh we start tackling the side quest that's when it's gonna get real fun for us because uh i'll just be i'll really just be messing around cairo doing random side quests I think the the Mallow Mart side quest is a lot of fun. I mean, it does have a, quite a few fetch quests, but it's pretty funny. From what I remember. Uh-oh. Uh, these things just keep spawning. That is a little bit annoying. Don't want to do that. All right, which way is forward? This way, then? I remember there was, a uh, The wolf in this area. I don't think we've found the stone yet, though. 
Yeah, because I don't see him in the map. That cutscene is sort of interesting. Don't know why they want us to see him fall every time. <laughs> they worked on the animation and now you have to see it. I guess so, right? Because I, I understand it a first time. Oh, I'm surrounded, I guess. The first time is alright, but... It's a couple of seconds, so it's not like it's torture, but... I'm I just wonder cuz it's it doesn't serve any purpose really unless I'm missing the point The point probably is it looks cool Oh wow, do they just keep spawning? Is that it? I hope that's not it. <laughs> I can't see a thing though. Okay, we got him. I don't think I can skip it. But I, I kind of get the point, I think, now. It's just those guys keep respawning if you don't kill them. So the cutscene is there to let you know, hey, you got them. I think I get it now. Still kind of silly, though, but... Killing the archers is necessary, so they want to they wanna make sure the player know, knows to get them. No archer in this tower, I think. You got another. Aw, oh, come on. Okay, I don't think they follow me over here. Oh, they do. See if I can shoot him from over here. Seems like I can. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. If 
if I break this pig, I think it gives me hearts. I think I remember this. Yeah. Nice. Something around here. Nothing too crazy. All right, let's go into the uh, the mini boss. I do remember who I fight here, though. It's uh, the the Moblin King. I think it's his name. Oh, I never noticed. You know how the goats in this game have like uh, their horns are in like a, a circle shape. That's pretty cool. I never noticed they they kept like the anatomically accurate goats for uh, the goat skulls in the rest of the game. That's pretty cool. I never noticed this. That is a neat detail. Oh man, that's cruel. Don't hit your don't hit your boar. Come on. Common sense. <laughs> yeah, accurate bone structure. That's what I'm about, man. Accurate accurate for me it doesn't have to be accurate in real life. Oh damn, he hits hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A skeleton raiding skeletons, it makes sense. I actually almost died to him. Pretty cool. This enemy, as uh, silly as he can be sometimes, is another reason why I like this game so much. The game is uh, constantly developing his character without telling you because the whole time for the whole game, you're kind of thinking like, oh, it's this guy again. I got to fight him again, I guess. And then at the end of the game, it kind of throws you a curveball a little bit. It surprises you. I'm not gonna say what happens, but it's it's a neat surprise. Nothing crazy, but something special happens with that character. All right, we made it to the Arbiter's grounds. Oh, another Osol. Interesting. I wonder how I missed so many of these when I was a kid. Because they've been so easy to find so far. And I'm about to die to it, aren't I? Also, look at the skull. Oh, wait. Pretty cool skull, too, if, if I do say so myself. I should make a, a skull earless stream or something. 
But I think I should make a coffee one before I do a school one. I think a coffee one would be more appropriate. Coffee tier list stream. Arbiter's Grounds. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, how... I know how this works. Took me a second. That's Cool Skull. Yes, it is. It's a Cool Skull. School Skull. Oh, fuck. That, uh, kind of scared me. <laughs> that kind of scared me right there. All right. Better know this was uh, a horror game. Uh oh. Oh, am I supposed to just walk over? Oh, I guess I am. All right. Interesting. Ah, tiny skeleton. It's a tiny skeleton. I don't remember them being so tiny. Oh, another one. for a second we needed a key what's this oh oil okay if I could just refill the lantern forget about the bottle All right. We got the key. Oh. Sorry, I need to look at this. I need to look at this for a second. I need to see how this looks like up close. Is there a way I can turn the camera? Ah, wrong side. I'm wondering if these are like bugs or they're like the, the tiny uh, blob things that you see in Wind Waker and stuff. I guess they are like bugs. Like scarabs, maybe? Yeah, yeah, they are like bugs. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I 
come they keep respawning? Oh, okay. I guess they, they spawn depending on where I'm standing in the area. Oh, okay. Lantern time. Oh, I remember this. I remember this, and this actually used to scare me a little bit as a kid. Yeah, I remember this. It's a good, good, good ghost. Yeah, I remember this clearly. I don't remember how to fight them exactly, but... Look at these things. They're hideous. I mean, they're cool, don't get me wrong, but... As a kid, this scared the heck out of me. You know, I like a lot of the a lot of the songs in this game, but one I I actually don't like that much is the uh, combat theme. I I'm not too fond of it. I feel like it's too invasive. Uh, forget the scent of Ilya and learn the new smell. Learn the post scent. All right. Time to, time to smell some ghosts. remember these being in this game that's pretty cool I can't remember what they're called but yeah I don't remember them being in this game ooh the uh what are these called again? I forgot. The sh shrieks? I don't remember them being this cool. That's awesome. I think that's what they're called. The shriek, right? Or the redeads. The redead. It's a redead. That's what it's called. Okay. I think that's the only thing I have to do in this room, but let's let's go the other way just to see. See if it does anything. No. Nothing. Alright.
What's over here? Nice, we got the map. That can be useful. got to start bug collecting or something to uh, expand our wallet. I think that's how you get a bigger wallet. If I remember correctly. Am I supposed to knock this down or something? But I, I feel like I have to jump on it before I do. Probably can't reach there. Huh. What if... No? Okay. Worth a try. Alright, I guess we can't go through this area just yet. Because I highly doubt... Yeah, we can't target that from here. All right, let's keep exploring then. We haven't been in here yet. Or have we? No, we haven't been here yet. Similar room, different layout though. Oh, spikes, of course. Okay. Does this... This probably drops it down. Or no, the opposite, actually. Okay. Alright. I see how this goes. Once I do this, I probably got to... Run this way as fast as I can. Yep. Oh. They're on fire now.
I thought I could read this for a second. Oh, it's just the, the Hyrule insignia. Yeah, the compass. All right, let's let's spin this thing and see what it does. All right, we got a door that we need a key for, and a chest with a redud. And a key. Could have probably guessed there was a key in there, actually. Since there was a locked door on the opposite side. Is that a Poe I can hear? I think that's a Poe. Oh no. Not good. Not good. Not good. Should I approach them? They can't stun me while I'm in the air, so that's a good thing. <laughs> I can just spam the, the jump attack. And I'll be fine. Alright. This place looks oddly, oddly familiar. Um... The design of this part here looks like the dungeon from... Or not the dungeon, but the sewers under Hyrule Castle. Oh. Ghost rats. Classic ghost rats. Take a look at the previous room. I I want to be sure I'm not skipping over something I might have to go back for. Although it doesn't seem yeah, this is just the main room. Never mind. I don't think I have to do anything with this just yet, at least. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, I know where this is, okay. This is the, the room I wasn't able to go through earlier.
Coffee and bonfire is the great no 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 no. You you're mistaken, son. You you are the great. How you doing? Welcome in. What are you up to today? How has your Wednesday been? Also, uh, I hope you got your electricity back. I was, I was at your, your stream earlier and I, I saw that you lost power midstream, which sucks. I think I know what I have to do here. I think I have to stand in the center of this thing and hope to God I don't get squished. <laughs> yeah, all right. You have energy? Nice. I'm glad. You're good? Nice. I'm glad about that, too. Welcome in. I am doing all right. Doing all right. Uh, like you, I spent a better half of my day without any power. But uh, I got it back about two hours before a stream, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, I'm doing good. Work wasn't too bad. Um, and the future looks bright, which is what's important, you know? Gotta keep looking forward. Gotta keep looking ahead. You got a busy couple of months ahead of you. It seems like we're on a similar boat, my friend. I do too. Some, some big changes might be coming soon, but we'll see. I don't know that they'll affect the stream at all, really. But, uh, changes in real life. Or in my personal life, I should say. Because streaming is real life. How do I kill these guys? I think I needed to lay down a bomb or something. Yeah, let's throw down a bomb. Because uh, I think that's how you get these guys. Monday through Thursday, university. So waking up at 6 and Friday to Sunday, waking up at 5 for work. 7-7 seven, seven days. Damn. I'm sorry, my dude. So Monday, Thursday, and Friday to Sunday, you're, you're going to be busy. Sorry to hear that, but important things though. Um, good luck with the university, my friend. I hope. What are you gonna major in, by the way? I don't think I've ever asked you. What are you studying, if you don't mind me asking? A web admin, that's right. Yeah, you have told me actually, yeah. Nice. Coding and stuff? Cool. I dig it. Oh, isn't this a reference to the statue in Ocarina of Time? I feel like it is. That's really cool, son. That's a good thing to major on. It seems like a, a neat subject. Coding is something really useful to know. I'm sad I, I never got into it myself. Oh, uh, is this a sort of puzzle thing I have to do in a specific order? Ah, oh, geez, if I only knew the order. Oh, 
All right, is there any hint in this room to what the order might be? I think I just need to light two of them, and I'm guessing it's the ones in front of her hands. <laughs> no. I'm actually wrong on that. All right, what if I start with this hand? No, okay, it's not it. Not it. And, uh, Sen, do you have plans on streaming while you study? I hope you do, but if you can't, it's understandable. So it's not... God damn it, this is gonna be a, a difficult one. Any sign anywhere of which ones I have to light? All right, so if I light this one first, nothing happens. Ah. Interesting. You sure hope you make this time the time for streaming? Yeah, I hope so too. Oh, okay, we're now gonna face two of these ghosts. Or one. Or neither. Which one is the real one? Your streams are epic, magnifico, chef's kiss. Thank you, son. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy them. I really do. I'm glad these bones are still... I don't know. Are still doing things. I don't know. I, I tried to come up with something clever, but it really didn't work. Oh, I forgot I could explore this place with as a uh, wolf lake. Okay, so um, where do we go now? Where do you go? Where do we go from here? Because we've only killed two of the ghosts, we still have a few areas yet, yet to explore. Um, let's go back here for a second. I, I really hope I'm just not missing something. this area isn't it. Uh-oh. Because this is just going the other way around, I think. Yep, yep. Nothing here. Nothing to see here. Let's go. I'm 
I'm hoping I get a chance to play Rygar soon. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it because after Darkwood, I'm playing Kingsfield 1. I might do it after that actually, but we'll see, I guess. Oh no. Fell down the hole. And Minda just flies there. She doesn't she doesn't go down with us. Pretty fitting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what to do, I know what to do. Oh Did not mean to do that actually, but it works, I think. Alright. Let's figure out where we gotta go now. Because we got two of the O's. Um, we need two more. Oh, we gotta go through here, I'm guessing. How do I make this rotate, though? gotta be a way to rotate this room or something right or or maybe it's a bomb Yeah, yeah, Crappy went out and bought it. That's awesome. Because sometimes nostalgia blinds us. Yeah, yeah, it does. It really does sometimes. It really does. That That is true. That is very true. One of the poses went through here. Now, how do I go through here? The only thing I can think about is bomb. You don't really get a hammer in this game. And... The wolf definitely cannot dig through this, of course. <laughs> yeah, five steps to avoid harm. That is correct. That is accurate. There's definitely something I have to do here, but what is it? Maybe I can't do this just yet. Maybe I gotta go back to the basement? Video game logic? Yeah. That is indeed video game logic. And 
and I'm not gonna make it. Have you played any of the Zelda's, Sen? I'm not sure if I've asked you before. Maybe we gotta go back to the basement, is what I'm guessing. We only found one door in here though. Didn't find much. Yeah, there's only one room here. This room. It doesn't do anything else. I started the Minish Cap but never got around to finish it. Oh, I see. Minish Cap is good. I like that game. It's a pretty chill one too. Not a bad one to start off with. Also started the one about the train. Yeah. The train one's fun. I never finished that one actually, but that one's fun. I like the soundtrack to Spirit Tracks. It's a good one. this huh. oh he just emulated them to through your phone that's smart I mean those games are not easy easily acquired anymore I've always wanted to finish Minish Cap it's 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 a really good game but I don't know why I've never gotten around to I've gotten pretty far in Do I just have to do this again? Yeah, I do. Okay, what now? What now? Doesn't seem like there is anything. I guess there's there's nothing and I can't jump through this either that's weird maybe I forgot to explore something here let's check let's check everything out yeah, I did go through here. I went through here too. Interesting. What did I forget? tell Nintendo though they might force me to buy a $150 Game Boy Color game yeah they are pricey nowadays 
Unless you buy like a counterfeit copy, but those aren't really reliable, supposedly. Oh, is this a door? This is a door, isn't it? Yeah, Nintendo's really... Well, r reasonably, of course. You know, no game company wants their games pirated. But, um... Nintendo is definitely very on it. More than other companies. But nice, we found one of the remaining foes. In a random location, too. Alright, this is the second to last one. We're only missing one after this one. And we still have a decent amount of stream time left. We still have an hour. Which is absolutely great. It might just be enough time to finish this dungeon. We got third postal. Third bra third brazier lit. Um Oh, they just made a ton of timeless classics. Natural people would want to visit them. And since they don't make them accessible to everyone, we'll find a way to play them. Yeah, definitely. Nintendo doesn't want their games pirated. But at the same time, they don't do anything to keep them accessible. And they have a lot of power to do so. I mean... Uh, don't even get me started, but... Yeah. We've heard it all before already. Alright, so I'm only missing one postal. How hard can it be to find, right? How hard can it be to find, right? Oh, I think I know the one I'm missing too. Plus, the game's being extremely console exclusives, aka would never come out on PC. Yeah, I don't think Nintendo will ever make the jump. At least not in our lifetime. I mean, a big part of game companies is console sales, and if you take that away, they're just game developers. Wait, have I been up there? I think I have actually, never mind. Yeah, I've been here. 
Yeah, it would sell. It would sell. I agree. It would sell. But Nintendo would rather sell the additional Switch someone needs to play it. Marketing, you know, business-wise, it's smart. But, uh... Yeah. They're interested in the money. Which is natural for a company, you know? I'm actually surprised that Sony is slowly releasing games on PC. I'm very surprised about that. Very, very surprised about that. I, I never thought we'd see that. Happening with stuff like God of War and games like that. I think I know where we need to go, but I have no idea what we gotta do there. Oh, we did it again. I'm fine with the Nintendo games not being on PC, but I do wish they uh, brought all their old, old games to the new consoles. Be it through a membership, um, be it by individual purchases, just, just make them available, give us the options. They did good. I mean, in my opinion, it's a little expensive, but they did good bringing the N64 to the Switch. I'm still amazed that's a thing. They should do that with Game Boy and other consoles too. 3DS maybe even, right? How do I do this though? I'm certain I have to do something here. What is that thing I have to do? I do not know. Uh, they just make games older than 2 gen. Sorry, I had to stop talking because of the train. Uh, they could just make games older than 2 gens or consoles that aren't selling no more come back in an easy to play format how much money could they be bringing from a gamecube sales in 2022 not if i want to play mario kart double dash then i'm stuck yeah and i'm sure a lot of people will play melee if they brought it to the switch i mean look at how many people are playing melee nowadays still imagine if that was on the switch let's go melee yeah Uh oh. How do I do this? What do I do? How do? Thing a thing. Um, seriously though, what what am I supposed to do here? Something I need to do. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's, that's not it either. Okay. Um, um?
What do I have to do here? I'm so confused. There's there's something I gotta do. Probably not the lantern. Oh, what if... No. Coffee eats trying to collapse columns, keeping an old temple from falling apart on top of him. You gotta try it all. You gotta try it all. What do I do here? I am missing something and it's probably in my face. I'm guessing... No. There's something I gotta do to get through this thing. I... God damn it. You know... Inna, can you tell me something about this? Good. We're down to one ghost. Just follow that last entrail. I'm trying. I don't know what to do, Minda, though. I, I don't know what to do. And it seems like that's the only place I need to go. Oh. Wait a second. No, no. This well is right underneath us. Maybe I have to do something there? Perhaps? No, because that's actually above us. That's above us. What is underneath us then? Huh. It's always the last ghost, isn't it? It's always the last thing you need to do that takes you the longest. Let me climb, come on. I need to climb. Jeez. I want to try something I haven't tried before in here. And that's looking around with the wolf sense. It doesn't seem like I'm noticing anything new though. Yeah. All right.
All right, I don't want to jump off by accident. So let's be careful. All right. Okay, this actually goes to the, the first floor, not the basement. I wanted the basement. Come on. Yeah, this takes me to the, the first floor. I didn't want this, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see. Actually, this is a door. Isn't it? This looks like a door. Kind of like the hidden wall we saw earlier. Um, let's, let's check this room. This might be nothing, but... Because this is just quicksand. That wall over there is the same texture as this door over here, so I'm guessing it's a door too. But then again, there's no map design behind it. Like, that's where the map ends. Coffee trying to. Oh, yeah, I read that earlier. <laughs> Me rereading chat. Um. Um, weird wall texture but i'm just gonna write it off as an inconsistency i don't i hope there's nothing behind it but i'm gonna forget about it because there's nowhere i can dig it doesn't seem like there are any more secrets in this room howdy classic frank how you doing welcome in how is your Wednesday going, and are you a Twilight Princess fan? Just got off work, your school art looks cool, thank you. Much appreciated. I am indeed a skeleton. And <laughs> thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, all the art on this channel is done by me, so I really appreciate you saying that. And uh, yeah, my name is Coffee. I am a skeleton on the interwebs. I like playing soul style games, but I do deviate. So I've been playing uh, Twilight Princess recently as well as Darkwood. Uh, nostalgic for this game, grew up watching my dad beat it and my sister play it. I didn't play it until this year, but I got through the first engine recently. Nice, yo. Awesome, love to hear that. Love to hear playing uh, people playing this game for the first time. Props to you for picking it up. It is a good game. I like I like Twilight Princess very much. 
and it seems like your your family has good taste in uh, in gaming. It's a good game. Um, Toilet Princess, I don't know. I, I think it's a game that should be talked about more. It's kind of shoved to the side sometimes. But uh, it's it's definitely still one of my favorites. Now I'm wondering if there's something I need to do in this room. Let me... I, I don't think I found anything out as Wolf Link here earlier. But... I, I wonder... Uh, the music and atmosphere are really awesome. They are. They are. They're great. The the soundtrack is great, and like you said, the atmosphere is it's amazing. Yo, Noivy, welcome back. Welcome back. We are a little stuck. We have made a decent amount of progress in this dungeon so far but we are only missing one one postal to get to the boss area or not the boss area but to get to the second half of the dungeon i don't think we we're facing the boss just yet now that i think about it wait is that a blood stain Interesting. Interesting place for a blood stain. I was lurking while cooking. Nice. What were you cooking? Hey. Doesn't seem like there's anything I need to do here just yet. Nice cooking bros. Nice, you're making salmon. Salmon's good. I like salmon. I I opened these chests earlier and I think yeah, just rubies. And I have a full wallet. Been lurking for a long time, so hello all. Hey, then, so welcome in. Thank you for the lurk as well. How you doing? Very tired, but not bad. Nice. Awesome. I'm glad you're not doing bad. Sucks to be tired, but... What have you been up to? Have you been messing around with the mod? Oh, your cat kept you up. Gotcha. Damn. Yeah, that's not fun. I've been there. That is not fun. You still love cats, don't get me wrong, I still love my cats, but they have done that to me before. What was your cat doing all night? Oh nice, nice, you have been working on mud, it's awesome. I downloaded the, the Giant Dad mod for Demon Souls. I haven't installed it yet. I will though. I was wondering how to endorse your mod though because I downloaded it but the Nexus wouldn't let me endorse it right away. I guess I gotta wait a little bit. She was biting your face and waking you up? You didn't need anything my cat just wanted to. Damn. That's a little funny, but I feel your pain. That does not sound fun. 
my in the past when my cat didn't let me sleep he would just walk all over my back and be annoying just just step on me with his little paws it was cute but it's not fun when you're trying to sleep and you gotta wake up early oh every once in a while to endorse okay i'll try it again soon i thought that that was something i could do off the bat it caught me by surprise when I realized I couldn't. I don't know if it did for you though, but it did It did pop up for me on the Demon Souls front page. Pretty cool to see it there. Um... Man, I'm, I'm really stuck. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, mods for Demon Souls in the, the Demon Souls Nexus. The Nexus website. There's not a lot of mods there, but it's cool to see it. Yeah, yeah, for real. I... I'm not sure which ones I have installed already, but I do have some, like, simple quality of life optimizations, like, um... I'm pretty sure I have some missing textures added in, re-added I mean, and I have a few fixes like a gray borderline that appears around the health, stamina, and uh, mana bars. I have that fixed too. And I think I have like a fog remover or something to make the game clear on RCPS3, but I'm really interested in trying the reshades. The reshades look pretty. There's more Demon Souls mods. There's only really two people working on mods, someone else and me. And I haven't played the game in years. Hey, you should pick it up again. It's it's pretty easy to play on PC and I can help you get it set up if you'd like to. It's pretty easy. Okay, so this is where I'm stuck. You can clearly see the Poe is hiding. But I don't know how to go through this wall and I don't know how to... What am I supposed to do here? Such a weird room. Okay, so I got the claw shot. Um, I don't really think that does anything for me here. I got arrows, iron boots. I tried bombs already. It can't be arrows, can it? It... Yeah, definitely not.
And this is the only place where the post appears anymore. I'm a little stuck, so if you guys forgive me, I hope you forgive me, I'm going to look at a walkthrough real quick because I'm a little lost, and for progress's sake, I just want to get through this. That's funny. I'm looking at some info and Link's crossbow training comes up, which I've heard is a pretty good game, actually. I've never played that one myself. Um... Um, sorry for the wait, guys. I'm trying to see what the hell I have to do here. Fourth postal. I like wolves, the wolves' idle animations. They're not bad. Dog does big stretch. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Interesting. I don't think I have to do anything here. Okay, um, I think I know what I have to do. It's a good idle animation. It really is. It really is. I think I know what I have to do. And I would have never thought of this for at least two more streams, so I'm glad I looked it up. So this hole is the, the hole on the upper floor. I can't believe I didn't think about this, but yeah. It would have taken me a lot longer anyway, so. Um, so that opens the door in the room above. And I should be able to just do this and get out. All right. Okay, let's take care of the flying schools first because I don't want to deal with that in the bow at the same time.
All right, finally. <laughs> I... It kind of looked like the... I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. The, uh... The pulsal. Pulsal popping up behind the... Behind the doggo. It kind of looked like a, the dargo... The dargo farted. A <laughs> blue flame. I'm... I'm immature. I know this. All right. I don't think we're gonna face the boss just yet. Though I could be wrong, the game has surprised me quite a few times on how quickly it progresses, but I don't think so. I think we still need the dungeon item, which we haven't acquired yet. Oh, it is a mini boss, maybe. No? This looks like an arena of sorts. Okay. This is an interesting room. I don't remember this one at all. Oh, okay. Guess that works too. Let's check all of the rooms out just in case. Oh, never mind. We went down. Let's go up. Let's check all of the uh, little, the little sections just to make sure we're not missing anything. I try and do my best to not not miss stuff, but it seems like I'm always backtracking in these games anyway. All right, good thing we did this then. The key is basically a mandatory thing to get. Um, nothing here it seems like. Is it this way? I think it's this way, right? Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. I think we can go down now.
Whenever I see an elevator like this one, I can't help but to thank Ann Orlando. It's not the same, of course, but I can't help it. Oh, do we have... An invisible rat situation? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's a really cool oh no that's a really cool spawning animation him just standing up like that all right Okay, is this it? Dog and the num nums, yeah. Chewing up all the enemies. Oh, here's the chain, okay. This might take me one or two tries, actually. He gotta get the bone somehow? Yeah, he does. No! Oh, got stuck on the wall for a second. Um, what was that sound? Oh, okay. That scared me for a second. Oh, the dog doesn't kill the bugs. Interesting. I gotta be human to do that. Well, friend, I say goodbye for now. Stay cool. It's been a real been real nice in peace hey you too Zed I'll see you later thank you for coming by my good friend and yeah have a good Wednesday hope to see you soon son thank you for coming by once again it's always a pleasure having you you real last gracious you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we've found each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. One of the best characters in this game. I keep saying that whenever we run into anybody, really. There is just too much nostalgia in this for me. Alright, let's wait for the bugs. 
They can be annoying. Alright. Oh. Oh, that almost got me. I want to see what's in that other... Other room over there. The skulls? Okay. Haven't I been here before? This feels familiar. Oh wait, I need... I need bombs for these guys. this corner just in case oh no we didn't have to do this did we <laughs> oh I'm glad we did we we did have to do this anyway Almost, almost walked into it. Um, where do I need to go then? It's not over here. I remember that gate from somewhere. Maybe it's in the past rooms? Oh, yeah. Over here. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Will I make it? All right, not too bad. And it seems like this is the mini boss. It seems like this is where I'm gonna get that special item that allows me to go places. And one of the most unique dungeon items in the Zelda series too. All right, I think I need to become a wolf to start this fight. No? I remember I used to think this boss fight was really badass when I was a kid. Oh my god, that's freaky. That is freaking scary. What was that scream? The scream is very unsettling. 
Okay, do I need arrows? Maybe I need arrows. No. Yeah. I wonder why I can't target him. Oh, this is kind of like it reminds me a little bit of uh, Phantom Scan, Phantom Ganic's dynamic in Ocarina of Time. A little bit. too easy to stun him it takes uh, a normal hit to stun him all right pretty pretty cinematic i like it i like it wanted to take a look at the uh, design of the area you got the spinner an ancient machine that allows you to float in the air enjoying the hell out of this item in the past it's there are puzzles in the overworld overworld that allow you to use it but uh not as much as you should be able to in my opinion i feel like other than this dungeon there's not a whole lot you can really do with it even though it's a pretty pretty cool item to mess around with Trying to go the opposite direction. Oh no, I can't trigger it here. Damn it. I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh. All right, that's what I wanted. Uh-oh. Not mean to do that. I am going to grab a couple of each, these chests, if I can, apparently, because they're rupees. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream, because uh, it's about that time, sadly. As much as I'd like to keep going, I'll have to continue this dungeon next Wednesday. Let me go ahead and switch over to the intermission screen so I can end stream properly. Also, let's let's save just in case before I forget. Much as I love this game, I don't think I want to do this dungeon twice. Alright guys, well, 
that was twilight princess it has been a good stream thank you for being here all of you let me check if anyone i know is live i'd like to raid someone if we can no one that i know too well so i think i'm gonna skip the raid for tonight but thanks again for being here guys i will see you all again on sunday with some more darkwood I am not sure, but I think I'm about to finish Darkwood. So let's see if we can finish Darkwood this Sunday and start Kingsfield 1. So I'm pretty excited for that. I can't wait to start Kingsfield 1. Also, birthday stream coming soon. Should be fun. Uh, on August 28th with plans on a Sunday. I am not going to do a normal stream, I'm just going to be playing random indie games from Itch.io, short ones most likely. Um, and I also have a surprise that, uh, well I'm going to save it for later, I'm going to tell you guys later, but uh, I'm going to play be playing Souls Likes on that day, so it should be fun, it should be fun, it just, it's just going to be a pretty chill hangout kind of stream celebrate the stream anniversary and and my birthday on the same day so uh yeah i'll see you guys on sunday it's not next sunday by the way i just went on a tangent it's not next sunday this sunday's the starkwood the next one i think is where the stream anniversary is the 28th but uh yeah before i go on any more tangents thanks for hanging out guys it's been a fun one and have a good wednesday night see you all again on sunday bye bye